Hey everyone, Amanda here with Moses and Me Card Company. Today we are showing the cards we created using the Simon Says Stamp April 2023 card kit of the month called Poppy Perfection. Uh, first, let's take a look and see what we get in the card kit briefly. Uh, starting with the card stocks, we get a sheet of 110 pound Nina Solar White. We get a sheet of 100 pound Slate from Simon Says Stamp and a sheet of lipstick red from Simon. We also get some envelopes. This is an A2 white envelope and a mini slimline envelope and slate. Uh, we also get, let's see here, the pattern papers. These are from Moda Scrap and it is called Spring Poppies. These are really pretty uh, card pattern papers rather. Um, I really like the, the colors on these. And I also like that they're one-sided. <laughs> these are my kinds of pattern papers. <laughs> there you have that. Oh, that's on the other side. Nice uh, color combos. We of course get our stamp set which is called Poppy Perfection. This is a 6x8 stamp set. We get some reverse tweezers by Simon. We get a mesh bag, which I won't show you because I'm sure you guys have seen it. We get the gold mix confetti, which is really pretty. It's kind of iridescent, so it picks up the reds. Uh, I don't know if you can see that but on the pattern or on the when it's sitting on that red paper, it kind of it mimics that color. We get some ideology transparency layers which are kind of neat. Um, we get some colored pencils to play with. We get a stamp pouch. And we get a sheet of adhesive 3D foam strips. So there you have the card content for this month. Let's see what we can create. All right, here are the six cards we were able to create using this month's card kit from Spellbinders. Uh, starting out pretty simply, I um, used the pattern papers and the stamp set as well as the colored pencils that we got in the kit to create this card. Um, it's a fairly simple card. I just stamped in gold, heat embossed, and then of course used the colored pencils to um, color that poppy in. Uh, the panel I got was from this kit or this die set um, from Spellbinders. This is their postage edge rectangles and you'll see they've got these little rectangles with dotted detail. Um, so that was how I created that. This is of course popped up on some foam uh, to give it some dimension and then my sentiment here is also on some foam to give it some dimension. Um, there you have card number one. And of course these are the sequins that we got in the kit as well. Um, I did pull in, I made a lot of these into birthday cards because I need a lot of birthday cards. So I, the sentiment, the sub sentiment here is from Simon Says Stamp, the Tiny Words Birthday, which of course has a lot of great little sentiments in it. Um, that I like. So there you go. There's card number one. For card number two, I used the reverse piece of that postage edge uh, cut out. So this was used, I used that postage edge die from Spellbinders again and um, brought in another die from my set, my stash. This is the Simon Says Stamp. It's your birthday die. And I just brought that in with some gold specialty cardstock that I had in my stash. Um, this, is, of course, is the pattern paper from the kit, as well as some of the cardstock. This uh, charcoal gray was in the cardstock. Um, I colored in the poppies using my Copic markers, and then I cut them out with my Scan and Cut. I was gifted that this year for Christmas, so I'm looking forward to using that a little bit more. I am not a fussy cutter by any means. It's not my favorite task. <laughs> um, I, this is some Love from Lizzie peel-offs and uh, again some more sequins from the kit and then I just had some 
twine in my stash and added it to that little bundle of poppies and there you have card number two. So fairly easy cards. I found this kit to be a real challenge for me as I feel like I'm more and more I'm challenged by these kits. Um, for card number three I wanted to use these uh, acetate sheets that we got in the kit. I thought they were really pretty and they were uh, very interesting so I um, went ahead and mounted that on some of the charcoal cardstock that we had in I think that's slate gray from the kit so that it just you could see it in the background and then I used some arches dies that I have from Spellbinders these are called essential arches and that's what I used to cut out that frame with the gold specialty cardstock uh, just to give it a little bit of something I could actually glue to um, this is of course mounted on some fun foam which is mounted on some of the pattern paper and I in the background of course use some more love from Lizzie peel offs um, I stamped this sentiment using my opaque uh, stays on white uh, which was kind of a challenge I kind of struggled with the, the stamping of it and maybe I shouldn't have uh, actually stamped and maybe I, I should have gone with like a die cut or something but I, I wanted to try that. Um, I know Nicole Sport does it a lot and it always looks really pretty but it it was really a challenge and I don't know if it's because my pad is too dry or it just takes practice or what so we'll continue to kind of um, experiment with that. Um, I took of course a white heart for my stash. This is the Tic Tac Jelly Hearts from Trinity Stamps and then again some more of the embellishments from the card kit. Excuse me, and there you have card number three. Uh, for card number four, I again took some of that slate cardstock that we had in the kit as well as um, some of the pattern papers and some vellum and just kind of, I was trying to just do something a little bit different and I, you know, everybody always needs thank you notes. Um, this feels like a little bit unfinished to me so I'm not sure if I'll go back and maybe add something to the heart or something in there um, just to give it a little bit of interest. But this is a stitching heart that I have in my stash from Simon Says Stamp. I don't know that I have that one handy, but it's a stitching heart from Simon Says Stamp that they released. Ah, here it is. They released it a couple of probably months ago. Stitching Floral Heart is what it's called. And it's got these little dot details in there. And again, um, the sending was stamped by some more stays on ink in black. Thought I would continue to try uh, practicing with that. And then of course I white heat embossed the lots of thanks from the stamp set. And then this glitter tape is just something I had in my stash. And I just thought it kind of gave a little bit more red in the mix. So there you have card number four. Let's move those up just a little bit. For card number five, continuing with my birthday cards. <laughs> um, this is again some more of the pattern paper. I brought in some more vellum uh, for this happy birthday uh, die. This is happy the happy birthday die from CZ from Simon. This is just called happy birthday. Um, and it's got just a really nice font. I like how simple it was. and. I didn't want to color in any more of the poppies, so I just used a die set that I have in my stash. This is, of course, um, from Spellbinders. It is their, give me a second, their Be Bold Blooms. I kind of liked how this large flower, it's not a poppy, but I thought it was kind of a nice, large, happy looking little flower. That fit nicely with the pattern papers um, and the flower theme here. So there you have that. And that was, of course, some of the lipstick red cardstock that we had in our uh, kit. Uh, this glossy uh, paper is the satin, uh, I think it's satin red cardstock from uh, uh, Simon's Stamp. 
Um, they released that over Christmas and I just had that sitting on my desk so I thought I would use that there. So it's got a little bit of shine. Um, all of these of course are uh, layered and popped up on some uh, foam tape just to give it a little bit of dimension. And there you have card number five. And then lastly for card number six, kind of continuing with my birthday cards, um, I wanted to use that round acetate uh, sheet that we got in the kit that's like the little compass or I'm not quite sure if it's a compass but I think that's what it is. Um, I had the Spellbinders Club Kits on my desk from last month and one of these was this very pretty ampersand. This is the Sentimental Ampersand uh, from their January kit. Wow, <laughs> not even last month. Um, the beginning of the year, <laughs> I've had that sitting on my desk and was supposed to have used it at some point. So I just wanted to bring that in and I uh, just thought it was kind of turned out cute with this um, uh, this uh, acetate layer back there. Of course, I mounted that on some cardstock. I put a little uh, frame around it so that I could glue have a, like a point to glue with it and again these uh, the amper stand and the sentiments are stacked so they've got a little bit of dimension and then I of course use some of the Spellbinders gold mix essential gems I could have used the gems that came in the kit as well they would have been just as pretty um, but there you have card number six so I got some really good birthday cards out of this uh, kit I uh, was happy with how these turned out. They, this again was always a little bit of a challenge for me, um, but I feel like the more I push myself, the better I do. So I'm gonna try to continue to do these every month and see if I can actually make it through the whole year uh, doing every single kit I get. So we shall see. But um, anyway, thanks as always for joining me. I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope that I gave you some inspiration if you haven't dug into this kit yet. Um, maybe some different things to do with it. So thanks as always for your uh, help and your support and I will chat with you for the next one. Look to look forward to posting that here real soon. Thanks so much. Talk to you guys later.